The Young Men's Christian Association was the this brainchild of English was. philanthropist George Williams. Oh. Dismayed by working conditions in 18th century London. Hello friends, Sat Shri Akal. Welcome back to our channel Yankee Royal Reactionary. I am Amanpreet Kaur, she is Neha and today we are up with another video. In this video, we are going to react on Top 10 Things America Stole From Britain. This video is going to be very interesting and I can't wait for it. So let's not waste much more time and let's get into this video. From pastries to patriotic sing-alongs. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things America stole from Britain. He likes American stuff. Oh. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Sure, sure, sure. For this list, we're counting down famous facets of American culture which actually originated in Britain. While standout British inventions are subject for another list, today's countdown tackles typically American things, which the US has the UK to thank for. Okay. Number 10, Apple Pie. Oh, as American as American apple pie, pie, right? Wrong. The sweet treat is a staple on US dining tables, but the British were the first to serve it way back in the 1300s. A popular dessert throughout European history, with Dutch and Swedish styles also inspiring menus worldwide, it was taken across the pond with the 17th century colonists. Since then, apple pie... So I'm taking a pause straight away. And yes, I have seen in all the restaurants you can go, all the cafes, all the restaurants, you can find this apple pie in all the grocery stores, everywhere you can find this apple pie. And they are saying that it, uh, US has stolen it and now they are calling it American pie. So is it true or not? Do let us know in the comment section. It has become a standout symbol of US patriotism, as well as a central component to a teen comedy franchise. It's not what it looks like. Number 9, YMCA. Oh. Way before village people turned this institution into a cheesy disco anthem, and long before the YMCA swept across America, the Young Men's Christian Association was the this brainchild of English voice. philanthropist George Williams. Oh. Dismayed by working conditions in 18th century London, Williams conceived the now famous charity as a safe place for its patrons. While the movement's worldwide influence is something to be proud of, difficult to imagine Williams joining in with the dance moves. Number 8, it's Chocolate Bars. Version. I think I'll eat it now! Chocolate bars. <laughs> Candy bars are big business stateside, but before Mars, Hershey's, Milky Bar or Baby Ruth, there was one bloke in Bristol making confectionery history. Joseph Fry finalised the first mass-produced chocolate bar in the mid-1800s, around the time that the Dutch developed a chocolate press. Fry's chocolate cream hit shelves in 1866 with a famed fondant filling, and the bar can still be bought today. John Cadbury quickly followed suit, while the likes of Hershey's didn't arrive until the late what? 1890s. Oh. Number 7, Sandwiches. Can I have a glass of wine? Okay. And a, and a ham sandwich? So was the first one to discover if you like. Okay. With a pickle? <laughs> Right. Thanks to world-conquering fast-food outlets, Homer Simpson and Joey Tribbiani, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this foodstuff was a US creation. However, the history of the sandwich is long and complicated, and very little of it happened in America. While early versions are recorded across Europe, it's named after the fourth Earl of Sandwich in Kent. The story goes that he was an ardent gambler, and meat between bread was the simplest way of eating without disrupting a game of cards. Sandwich for display purposes only and should not be eaten. <laughs> Number six, The Office. That's what, what she said. <laughs> what? <laughs> and yes, we mean the TV show and not the actual open plan work. Again, taking a pause here because this has shocked us. Yes. What? The Office? I thought Office is originated in uh, US only. That it is the US show. But uh, no. while uh, watching this, Ricky Jarvis there. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> This is really okay. shocking for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's resume. Let's see what, what else there is. ...place, which is largely a German invention. Anyway, unlike a lot of American remakes of British TV, The Office US did manage to tap into American most of what remake. made its okay. predecessor pair. But after nine series and a shed load of awards, let's just remember where it all started. Steve Carell's Michael Scott is hilarious in his own right, but for fans of the British original, he'll always be David Brent in disguise. This Number five, plastic surgery. Wow, that came out of me. Plastic From surgery. Botox to boob jobs, America is the world's leading market for cosmetic surgery 
with millions going under the knife every year. But the industry was by no means born in the USA. Sir Harold Gillies is often credited as the father of plastic surgery, a New Zealand-born, London-based surgeon who gathered leading physicians to treat thousands of soldiers who had been injured or disfigured in World War I. Gillies' oh work God. became a blueprint for all sorts of reconstructive procedures and a starting point for today's aesthetic options. Number 4. The Light Bulb A supposedly serial stealer of other people's ideas, Thomas Edison's light bulb moment is considered one of the most significant steps in modern Thomas technology. Edison, yes. Hey Edison, how about sharing some of those light bulbs, huh? Hey, figure it out for yourself, man! But experts are continually divided on just how much Edison did to develop the design. Before the Wizard of Menlo Park, there were countless other scientists creating electric light and light bulbs, not least British pioneers including Humphrey Davy and Joseph Swan. The anti-Edison camp claims that the inventor's only skill was knowing when to patent. One thing yes. Edison did invent, oh, for 100% hey. genuine Edison invention that we use every day, probably most of us. Is it uh, nasal hair clippers? Number three, donuts. Oh, really? Donuts. Donuts, I think, are the UK's now, speciality. The origins of the donuts are a sticky affair, with claims and counterclaims sending historians round and round in circles. However, while a stronger suggestion remains that the Dutch took the treats to America in the mid-19th century, a 2013 discovery seemingly proves that the Brits were baking them at least 50 years before. Baroness Elizabeth Dimsdale's cookbook dates to 1800 yeah. and includes a strikingly similar yeah, recipe. Deep-fried concoction of sugar, eggs, butter and yeast, add some icing and it's the real deal. Number 2. Baseball No! A national sport and obsession in the US, baseball was born in I the didn't UK. Know that. There are countless records of bat and ball games being played in Blighty, starting with stool ball in the 1300s. Sure, the rules have changed and refined over the years, but the basic premise because is usually the same. Uh, some pitches, some swings, yeah. others try to catch. In fact, so some researchers argue that baseball is an offshoot of cricket, an English obsession which didn't catch on across the Atlantic at all. Number one. The Star Spangled Banner. Taking a pause here. So yes, we have seen one video where uh, there was a man and he was telling about that the Sp Star Spangled Banner was a sing uh, in was sang in uh, UK and US people have stolen it. So the, uh, there was some story which he was just telling in that video. So yes, we got to know about that. I, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but yes, we guys want you guys to comment in the comment section that if it is true or not, because there are many things on the uh, social media, there are many things on the YouTube, which you can just find uh, uh, randomly. But yes, want to know truth about it. So yes. We finish with a final salute for great British influence on American culture because the US national anthem is sung to the tune of an 18th century English drinking song. Drinking Baltimore song. wordsmith Francis mm. Scott Key takes full credit for the lyrics, but the melody was written by John Stafford Smith, a Gloucester-born composer. The anachronistic song, as it was music. originally known, mm. was regularly belted yes. around a prestigious London gentleman's club, where wealthy people met to wine and dine. So here we have come to the end of the video, and this video was very interesting. I was expecting something like that, and yes, and they, when they were talking about the Star Spangled Banner, it was the last one. But yes, I have heard of it that it was some drinking song in UK and US has stolen it as their national anthem. So, but I'm not sure of it. I want you guys to let us know. But the Star Spangled Banner has a different uh, vibe. It is so, so, so pure. I love it. I love the lyrics. I love the way Whitney Huston has uh, had, she sung that song. I'm a big fan of it and they were talking about the office that was also very surprising for me because i i only knew about the us the office not the uk version but yes if they are saying so then it must be true so but yes the video was very interesting i love it you know after watching this video i must say that sometimes stole something is not as bad because the america whatever they were stealing and chasing you can say uh in uh, in spite of uh, stolen that they were chasing these all best things with uh, other countries 
so basically uh, whatever uh, they, they these guys are doing with this but amazing job america because i have uh, watched lots of video related the army and navy power of us so i know that uh, us becoming the most powerful country in the world so i must say that sometimes chasing and you can say that stolen is not as bad as we think in our mind so uh, whatever they are uh, doing with all these uh, stolen things they were doing outstanding with their uh, things and uh, they were doing actually good in that field because if you talking about the apple pie i think the us apple pie is famous in all over the world so that's good when you uh, you know stolen something and you uh, discovering your version is outstanding it's worth to watch okay guys let's end it here if you like it then please hit the like button if you are new to the channel then go and subscribe now do let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video till then okay, okay bye, bye.